everybody when they listen to songs, they they play a little movie in their head. Some people have a whole story. Some people see colors and shapes. And as a music video director, somebody gave you the time and the money and the opportunity to not only collaborate with this very often a brilliant artist, but you're also able to take that movie that played in your head and then get it out there and share it. Ideally, a music video should be a synthesis where the two uh, arts really work together to make something very memorable. MTV started in the 1980s and brought a whole new type of content to television. You have very, very accomplished film directors who use music videos as their creative laboratory and playground, whether it's David Fincher or Michelle Gondry or Spike Jones. And then you have generations of people who grew up, maybe when they were teens, watching maybe a little more cheesy music videos, who now understand that this is a viable cultural form. As far as music videos going forward, I think all the new stuff, that, all these things that people are doing are fantastic and need to happen and I need, people need to be a little uncomfortable or a little shocked or a little surprised at what's happening. It may not be MTV playing videos on the hour like before, but you know, in some ways maybe this is even better. If video killed the radio star, um, the internet made video interactive. It's, a, it's just a medium that is exploding and like, people get more and more involved as participants. I think the great thing about music videos is that there are no limits, so the next big thing will be whatever somebody wants it to be.